around here. You can put it over that spine if you want to do the glam thing again. Paint all over here. Oh, yeah. there's one for the husband. You look like you need that. Yeah, cheer you up. Don't let Robert get to you. I'm not. He's got a nerve coming here. He's not shown his face since Dad's funeral. Even then, he watched from a distance. We weren't even good enough to sit with. What makes him think he's so big and important? Well, he isn't. We both know. Um, oh, an archer. Yeah, we're off. Oh, um, um, are you going to be putting in an offer? Um, we're not. No. Shame. Have a nice life. By the way, I've invited Dan and Vic to our wedding. Naturally, you're not welcome. Like I'd come. But come on, Rob. Isn't it time to bury the past? Oh, what bit we're burying? You offering yourself on a plate? <laughs> I've moved on with my life. What are you doing? Still riding the village bike? Andy! Come on, yes. Come on. You want to step outside, Andy? It's fine by me. You're going nowhere. Uh, sorry, who are you? His boss. And future father-in-law for my sins. I'm so sorry about this. Please feel free to look round the grounds. I never touched him. You were ready to. Any time, Rob. Oh, come on, Andy. Do you want to bust your arm again? You're not welcome round here, right? Oh, come on. I'm so sorry. My daughter's taste in men leaves much to be desired. Don't apologise to her. You. Go and wait for me outside. It wasn't Rob's fault. His brother started it. Yeah, and why would he do that? Because he's a brain-dead idiot. A bit more complicated than that, Robert. I'll, uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Ah, Rodney Blackstock, by the way. Purveyor of fine wine and rare antiques. So if you ever... Yeah, uh, not now, mate. Huh? See? How can this possibly work? Can't you make an effort? For me and Lachlan, is that really so much to ask? Oh, thanks for making an effort. I'll just go through a lot at the minute. Yeah, well, I'm sick of fighting at all. I'm not sure about this. Uh, you paid your money, you're having it done. Aye, and them cuticles are dead embarrassing. Is it gonna hurt? It's a manicure on open heart surgery. All right, we'll be gentle, yeah? Ali, relax. You're in the hands of an expert. I'm so glad you two made things up. Yeah, well, there's uh, no point in holding grudges, is there? Oh, blimey. Looks like someone's won the lottery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why have we stopped? Fancy a drink? Here. Why not? I just want to get as far away from this place as possible. What? And deprive Chrissy the chance to meet your family? His stepmother owns this pub. Really? You kept that quiet. Let's find out what else he's not been telling us, shall we? But Chris, you've only been back five minutes. Yeah, well, this was down to Andy. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't wind him up. I hope you know what you're letting yourself in for. Yeah, I can handle him. Where's my dad disappeared to? Maybe he's had another heart murmur. I don't say that. There's nothing wrong with him. Oh, well, you know his doctor confirmed it, so... He would do, wouldn't he? I take it your dad and Robert aren't the best of mates. It's their hobby, winding each other up. Why are you still here? It's not my choice, believe me. Can't you two just be nice to each other? I'll be nice once it's out of my face for good. Yeah, which will be in about five seconds. Drink up, your dad can make his own way back. Will you come out with me on the town tonight? Oh, probably not. I've had the worst day ever, please. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, yeah, the infamous Robert. Not been formally introduced yet. You'll yeah, believe me, you don't want to be. Sorry about that. Same again, all round. I don't think you're stopping. Uh, actually, that's exactly what we're doing. I've just spoken to the estate agents and they've accepted my offer. You bought the house. <laughs> At that price, it'd be a crime not to. I, I, can I just say it's been on my mind all day that I, I love your hair. Why is she still trying to be nice? She wants her old job back. Right, but I can't see that happening. Come on, son, cheer up. You'll soon get used to the idea. You can't just make these decisions. You haven't done badly since I took you on. Why break up a winning team? Onwards and upwards, huh? There's no way we're moving round here. You may not be. Your choice. We can't just let him do this. Looks like you can't shake us off so easily this time. We could 
could do so much with this place. It's perfect as it is. Yeah, and we need to put our own stamp on it. Well, it's only just been refurbished. To their taste. Which I happen to like. Why spend money if we don't have to? Looks like we've got a poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it isn't Little Miss Sunshine. Actually, I can be quite nice when I want to be. Oh, I certainly won't argue with that. I'm also very good at my job. That whiff of desperation? I don't do desperate. I'm trying to apologise for any misunderstanding. I'm joking. Come on, we go about yonks. Didn't you say you were going to phone Lachlan? Yes, I should do that. Why don't you show me where the coffee is? Oh, pleasure. Strange woman. Obviously wants to keep a job. Don't be too surprised if you find a chain to one of the kitchen units. Actually, while you phone Lachlan, why don't I go check she hasn't got any handcuffs with her? <laughs> So, how did you and Robert mean? Uh, can I have a word? I'm not stupid. Never said you were. Selfish, yes. Feckless, undoubtedly. Stupid, never. I know what the end game is. We move in here, I hate it, I leave Chrissy. How about we move in, you hate it? Chrissy leaves you. That is never going to happen. Let's see, shall we? Oh, Diane, could we see some menus? We've still got sausage and mash, if you fancy. It's favourite. These days, he tends to like steak. And why not? Why not, indeed? Especially when someone else is forking out. Didn't I tell you his middle name was Scrooge? I didn't get where I am today without watching the pennies. I had a little chat with Nicola earlier on. Found out quite a lot about you. Oh, yeah? Mm. Quite a little gossip when she gets warmed up. Mm. She always did have a big mouth. I would say congratulations are in order, but you don't seem to be too pleased. Oh, well, you know me. Never want to wear my heart on my sleeve. I'll leave that to our Andy. Oh, you, less of the digs. He's had a hard time. Talk about bad luck with his arm and the rest. Poor lad's had a tough couple of years. Well, don't you mean decade? And he can't blame all that on bad luck. You heard from Joe recently. Are you getting those drinks in or what? I was just telling Diane how delighted I am to be back here, raising my stepson in the village. And fingers crossed, making a couple of our own. You can't wait to be a granddad again. You're going to be a stepdad? Yep. How old? 14. He was a good kid. Yeah, when he's not in bother. Well, who wasn't at 14? Why don't I get that? Uh, I'd rather pay for it myself if you don't mind. Edna, I'm paying. In fact, why don't I buy everybody a drink? Diane, a couple of bottles of champagne, please. And if people don't like champagne, they're going to have whatever they want. Yeah. Now, that is what I call a gentleman. Well, <laughs> want to get on with my neighbours, don't I? Hey, I thought you said he was a tight wood. Happy? Well, will be when you tell me what Nicola had to say. Well, nothing I don't already know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm still smiling, aren't I? Don't mind if I do? <laughs> <laughs> you two look like you need to top up. Oh, you're the man after my own, aren't you? <laughs> well, I think I've had enough fluff. Oh, you, nonsense! You're not having one, Edna? No, thank you. I heard you and Dad sniping each other back at the house. Well, then you obviously heard what he said. Oh, come on, Robert, he's my dad. As far as he's concerned, no one is good enough for me. Look. I love the house. I think it's perfect, and I really want to move here, so please, can we just try and make this work? Well, I am trying, Chrissy. I swear, I am trying. I know, OK. But why did you turn your phone off anyway? Because maybe I didn't want to be contacted. Oh. oh but you've got to get used to him being here. Oh, hello again. Hi. Uh, let me get you a drink. About yesterday, you know my feelings, eh? Yeah, why don't we just... Forget about that. Fine by me. I, I just want you and me to get on. Especially as it's been so tough for you, bro. Oh, sorry, I... Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I, hey, come on, there's no need to be embarrassed. We can't all land on our feet, can we? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna offer you a job. Head groundsman. I want my brother to be my right-hand man. What do you say to that? Well, I'd say it was a bit presumptuous, considering you don't even have a job on the estate yourself. Dad? Well, I'll pay top whack. Come on, let's shake on it. I'd rather starve than work for you. OK. 
Here's a pint. You see what he's like? Are you delusional or just plain daft? Uh, it's not that mad. I virtually ran the place. And how did that work out for the last guy? Hey, his mental health issues had nothing to do with me. Uh, coffee, please, Bob, and whatever my potential new boss wants. I don't like you, Nicola. Congratulations, Robert. I heard that I accepted your offer. Yep. The estate agent's just been showing us all the properties we'll own in the village. Ah. Oh, Panini, want your tick? You offered Andy a job and you hate him. Yes, and you've made such a great impression, accusing Chrissy of theft. What? It merely proves that nothing gets past me, and anyway, we'll have to bout it after. While you were gossiping about me. Oh, don't worry. I didn't tell her any of your deepest, darkers. You see, discreet, loyal, trustworthy, it's all there on my CV. How about I email it over? How about you don't? Oh, get over it, Robert. So I popped your cherry. Gee, someone had to. I'm hardly going to tell your fiancé, am I? I'm sure Robert would tell her himself. Can't imagine they have any secrets. Mm. Oh, <laughs> there's another one of Arthur paddling in the sea. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, looks a bit demented there, actually. OK, stop. Yesterday was all about the lovely family holiday. <sighs> Today, it's about the filth. Not everything in life comes down to that, Nicola. Well, any means do it. Well, not if you've got a grieving five-year-old. Oh. Oh, hang on. Does that mean you... You haven't, have you? No, that... Honeymoon was great. Balon's great, you know, it was... Really... Great, yeah, but still, you... You didn't have sex, did you? What if it's a bad one? For the marriage? Sorry, I'm not interrupting you, am I? Oh, no, not at all. No, I, I better go anyway. I'll see you later. Yeah. Congratulations. You got the job. Three-month trial starting on Monday. Really? Uh, I don't know what to say. Try saying nothing. I might change my mind. But in that case, I'll just say that um, I accept and thank you very much. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. OK. Are you sure about this? I thought you liked her. And after her revelations, I think I can trust her. Yeah, that's if she's telling you everything. Why wouldn't she? <laughs> Why not ask Robert? Ask Robert what? I had a thing with her. With Nicola. <laughs> you make it sound like she was Jabba the Hutt. I've hired her. It was years ago. How many? Twelve. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Sh <laughs> shut up right now. That would make you about 16 and she would have eaten you alive. Well, what can I say? I've got a thing for older women. This one, specifically. Good answer, sort of. So I'm forgiven? Darling, she clearly took advantage. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> OK, great. See you then. Andy? Nice shirt. Listen, about the other day... Just wanted to apologise for acting like a big girl. No need. So you got the keys then? Not yet, but there's a lot of work to do on the grounds and I thought you might want to get a head start for a change. Well, let's see what the boss thinks, eh? Andy, you're keen. Technically, we don't even own the place yet. <laughs> Hand him your other shirt. Oh, yeah. Um, have you got a minute? What is it, Sam? Well, I, I was just wondering about getting my old job back. Sam was the gamekeeper here. Yeah, bad news, I'm afraid. Andy's got your job now. Well, I'm the groundsman. Same difference. Either way, we don't need him. Right, thanks. Sorry, Sam. Sam, hang on. <sighs> oh, you could have handled that better. Andy, why don't you have a look round, work out what our biggest priorities are going to be? Already on it. Made a list. Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. Might help. Who knows? But I still want to hear what you think. Make a welcome change to hear an opinion from someone other than you, eh, Robert? Oh, three pints, please. Oh, uh, blood's thicker than water, Sam, lad, even for often. So, how was the fact-finding mission? Well, there's a lot to do. Robert's list barely scratched the surface. The game stock is badly depleted, sorting that is a priority. But you can handle it, yeah? 
Well, yeah, but you'll need a proper gamekeeper too. You know, like Sam. He knows the place inside and out. You can trust him and he'll save you a shed load of money in the long run. Yeah, I'm not sure we need him. Well, yeah. if you want the place up and running and making money, you need him. OK, OK, OK. Welcome to the team, Sam. Cheers. Yeah. Brilliant. Second recruit of the day, if I'm counting Katie. Sorry? Oh, I said I was happy for her to have her horses back at home farm. Oh, dear. Didn't she tell you? Great. Well, thanks very much. Thank you. I have no idea what Chrissy means about reversing the staircase. She's been watching too much Harry Potter. Yeah, she'll be wanting talking portraits next. Get you. Closet fan. Well, I like to keep abreast of children's popular culture, so I've got something to talk to you about. Was that the surveyor? Yeah. What did he say about the stairs? Oh, Robert has some very strong views about the staircase. Oh, well, he can tell me them after he's helped me clear out the stables. What's wrong with the stables? You're not in them, cleaning them out. Katie's bringing her horses up. Can't staff do it? You are the staff. They're all on Dad's get-to-know-the-company day. I just called Katie and said we'd get right on it. Can you make a start and I'll be up in a bit? I'll wait for you. Oh, don't be a bore, darling. She's already on her way. Yeah, to the left, Sam. No, go right. I'm doing the speaking, you're listening. Go left. It's not just your arm that's knackered, your brain's still useless and all. Never did like the part of lacquer, did you? Well, if you don't like it, you can always quit. <laughs> Meeting's all done? Finally. So you can put me to work. Uh, we were just taking a break. Andy, you can brew coffee one-handed, can't you? I'll give you an and. It's your brother. Don't you skivvy? Well, he's doing what I tell him, because that's what he's paid for. Yeah, well, you don't have to enjoy it so much. I made you a cake. What's with the piles of furniture outside? We're making room for the new stuff. Well, put it back. This place has only just been redone, and I like it. But you asked him to oversee the move. Yeah, to shift clothes and cutlery and stuff, not redecorate. My mistake. Yeah, whatever. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Crosswise. You all right? I'll be better when Lucky shows his face. He's excited about coming. I called to have a go for standing us up. He reckons he couldn't say no to his dad. Do you really believe him about being excited? He'll be here soon enough. Until then, you'll just have to put up with just me. <laughs> There's still gear needs bringing in. We'll have to wait till tomorrow, then. You off? Yeah, I've got an engagement party to plan. Well, wonderful. Let me pick up the bar tab. <laughs> no need. Well, call it a token for the extra work that you put in today, and obviously I've saved a bomb by keeping the place as it is. Hill and Chris seem like a match. And there was me just starting to like you. But I'll forgive you just this once, only because I want to pick your brains. What about Robert? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wiley's Farm. You know it? Yeah. Of course, sir, it's a great spot. It's been empty for years, though. In my day, they ran a beef herd, not dairy. Is that what I should do? <laughs> Only if you're mad. It's better suited for the dairy. Oh, you worked it yourself, have you? No, oh, I wish. Places like Wiley's don't come cheap, and I'm just a labourer. So? I was just a poacher. Now, I'm Lord of the Manor. He's a walking cliché. <laughs> well, night, then. Night. Good night, Andy. So what do you reckon then, Dad? Is it starting to feel like home? Just need Lachlan to come. And when he does, will things get better? Well, we're a family. We don't have to be perfect. Just have to be united. So, you, me, Lachlan, this house, could be the making of us. You forgot Robert. Yeah, well, he's not family yet. He's not going anywhere, Dad. Hmm. And neither are we. 
and this is some of the bond that we send out to potential clients. But to be honest, you don't have to worry about any of that. I mean, Declan used to leave the day-to-day -day running of the estate to me. That must have been a lot of pressure. Really stressful, I imagine. Perhaps for some people. Well, it sounds like we're lucky to have you. Well, don't worry, we're a lot more hands-on. In fact, have you got a list of the current tenancy agreements? Of course. Good news? In the bag, three-year deal. Robert's been schmoozing the head of Harper and Hill. Friend of a friend? Attractive, is she? He? So, I'm not really the man to ask. We're going to be running lots of corporate bonding days for them. Uh, just what everybody wants in their back garden. A bunch of sweating middle-aged management types pretending to be Bear grills. Take no notice. I wasn't. Any sign of Andy yet? No, I've not seen him. So much for Mr Reliable. Someone looks studious. I'm trying to figure out how many walls I need to knock down to give George a decent-sized stall. Don't change a thing. I've got some very happy memories of that stable block. Oh, no. Well, I'm supposed to be calling the architect in half an hour. Architect? For a couple of horses? Can't we just hand my brother a sledgehammer and see what he does best? Be kind, remember? He's not even here. You should have a chat with Katie about your plans. Invite her over for lunch. I don't think she'll fancy coming over after yesterday. She's going to demolish everything Katie set up anyway. Why bother when she managed fine with things as they are? Well, I want to put my stamp on it. And George needs his space anyway. Your dad's had his head turned. What, by Katie? Why don't you invite her up for lunch yourself? Hmm. Good thinking, son. Maybe I will. But he looked so upset. I suppose it did get a bit heated. He's a proud man, prouder than I gave him credit for. So why did he accept the money in the first place? I don't know. What's all this? Dad's had a run-in with Andy. No, it really isn't that dramatic. He said that I'd paid him too much and he wanted to reimburse me. It's probably because we crashed his little do. You were trying to be nice. Yes, I don't think he trusts nice. Oh, look, I'm going to have to call Lachlan about tomorrow. He's, um, he's threatening to cry off again. Put your foot down. Yeah, because he always responds so well to being told what to do. We'll, um, pick this up later. Yes, my love. Chrissy thinks you're up to something. Does she? Not answering. Morning, Dad. You're OK. You look a little bit... Knackered. You're not sleeping. No big deal. At my age, it's not waking up you've got to worry about. I'll phone him again in five minutes. Andy's late for work. Robert's taking it personally. It's not his job to worry about that. I don't know why he's poking his nose in. He's trying to help. We all need to muck in if we want to make a success of this place. The stuff about my brother you don't know. I know you're the one acting like a child. Perhaps, but I'm not the one who has to see a shrink about my temper. Yeah? Been quick to use his fists before. See? Got a lot to learn about Golden Boy. You know about this. He hasn't uh, said anything, has he? Been in touch at all? Or... He got the muscles, I got the work ethic. You know, I don't think it would do either of you any harm to take the day off as well. I'll give him half an hour and then I'm going to go and knock on his door. Leave him be. He'll be in soon enough. I mean, it's up to you, of course, but uh, it seems a bit over the top. Uh... Jacob, you can... So, we pay you this minimal rent, and what do you get out of it? A farm with a good man to bring it up to scratch. Machinery I'm fine with, but I know nothing about the rest. Well, nor did Declan. Which is why he let the place stand empty. Is she always this hard to convince? But she doesn't appreciate using us to meddle in your daughter's life. Do you swear that you won't be playing any more games? Hand on heart. It was nothing personal, my dear. Uh, but I hope you'll be very pleasantly surprised. You've certainly made Victoria's day. Offering her that catering contract. Well, she may be young, but she's got her head screwed on, I can tell you. All right. He's not bothering you, I hope. I was just thanking him for Victoria. She's devising buffet menus as we speak. I'm a great one for pushing work towards family. And since you're future in-laws, I'm happy to help. Oh, Robert, I thought you should probably know. I'm stepping down as your groundsman. Well, I'd like to say you'll be missed, but I'd be lying. Oh, don't worry. You'll still be seeing me around, though. Lawrence has offered me the lease on Wiley's farm. And we've accepted. That's fantastic. Don't look so happy for us, Robert.
Robert. Lawrence. Lachlan. Sorry, I thought we were playing a game. So, what is it today then? You've given my brother a farm, my sister a catering contract. Maybe you could give Diane another pub. She'd like that. Fine with my book, thank you. Oh, you're clearly not doing any work. Anything good? So, so. I picked up some books by local authors in the library. This one's by your father. Your dad wrote books. It's a bit dated, I suppose, but I think it's quite romantic. It's about two young lovers returning to the Dales and setting up a farm on family land. I wonder if Andy's read it. I'm not even sure Andy can read. Maybe you could read it to him. It would get you out of the house. How do I get a girl to like me? Oh, sorry. Have you two finished doing your little sniping at each other thing? Which girl? No one in particular. Just girls in general. Well, the risk of stating the obvious. Why don't you just try talking to them? Be yourself. That is the worst advice I've ever heard. Exactly. Surely that's the last thing I want. Oh, oh, well, go on then. What's your secret? You need to intrigue her. Never be yourself. But then what? Find out what's missing in her life and give her that. You ever thought of being an author? Because you sound like a really bad self-help book. Then how about this? Knowledge is power. It's a cliche, but it's true. You find out the right piece of information about someone. They're secret. And they're yours. <laughs> One of the many perks of being your own boss. When you find a book that's hard to put down, you don't actually have to put it down. Robert? Finn Barton. Finn keeps telling me I should introduce him to my big, fit brother. His words, not mine. Nice one, Vic. She's got a big gobby sister, hasn't she? Oh, don't I know it. So, does anyone actually do any work around here? She's meant to be in the kitchen doing lunches. No one's ordered anything yet, have they? Uh, burger. Do one. Barton. So they're your burgers, then? They are most definitely not my burgers, no. I work at the B&B. Well, I usually do. Today it's closed because Val blew up the oven. Did she? Is she all right? Oh, yeah, she's fine. Eric's not. It's costing him a fortune. God, I can't believe those two are still together. What's the secret? Diane! I blew up the cooker! Kaboom! Just like that. He's livid. I, I've told you. I'm fine with it. The insurance will cover it. Today, I'd say, was a shared propensity for lunchtime drinking. Robert! The prodigal step-nephew returns! Mm. Well, hello, Auntie Val. I hear you've gone up in the world. Marrying into money? Yeah. When we're going to meet this dead-loaded future father-in-law of yours? Lawrence White. Dead-loaded future father-in-law. Hello. <laughs> Mine's a Jean T. Well, actually, I was just about to order a bottle. Perhaps you'd like to join me for lunch, hmm? Oh. Yeah. Of course, the Vernies owned the big house here when I was a boy. I've still got the scars from when their gamekeeper caught me tickling trout in the lake. Oh, never heard it called that before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and get the drinks in. <laughs> you got him well trained. <laughs> so, how much money have you actually got? Valerie! I meant to say, I was thinking of doing something special for Mum's anniversary. We've never bothered before. We haven't been here before. Look, you know what? Don't worry about no, it. No, no, all right. Yeah, I think we should. Well, then ask Andy then, would you? Cos I'd ask, but... He'll think it's another dig. Yeah. Please don't leave me with them. <laughs> oh, God. I'd give it 15 minutes before she starts dancing on tables or goes dark. Pray. Dark. So let's get this straight, right? You have a Ferris and you spend it in the pub with your bosses. <sighs> no. Well, actually, I was trying to get your sister to come into Leeds with me. They're showing the new Death Note films at the Paragon. Oh, cool. Have you heard the reckon Gus Van Sant's doing the American version? I, wait, I got, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, De Death Note. I mean, well, I prefer the comics, but. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. my beautiful, beautiful nerd brother. Right? I need a wee right now, right? For I shall return and we shall talk more of this, okay? All right? Yeah. A lot more. All right? All right? All right mate. Oh, looks like you made a friend there. Oh, looks like you've made two. Or are they just sitting with you for the free wine? Come on. Where's your comeback? Your next little dig? 
It's the anniversary of my mum's death soon. I'm sure you can find something horrible to say about that. It never used to be like this, did it? What happened? You know full well. You tried to marry my daughter. And you hate me for that? Yes. Because while it might be useful having someone like you on the books, it doesn't mean I want you in my family. Consider this your final warning. I want you gone. Well, I'm not going anywhere. And in case you haven't noticed, this is my home. So do your worst. Because I haven't even got started yet. So, what say we all go back to ours and crack open a bottle of the good stuff? What, all of us? Yeah. You too, Vic, if that's OK, Anne. Lunch is finished. She can do what she wants. In which case, I think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. After you. <laughs> You're Sam's father, aren't you? Uh, that's right, yeah. He's been a real help getting us settled in. Can I get you a cup of tea or anything? Uh, no, Tab. Before I say anything, I should say that I don't want to cause any hassle for, for our Sam. Sounds ominous. Right. Your lad's been talking to our Belle. She, she had a bit of trouble a while back. Yeah, I, I've heard. Right. And uh, well, he was asking about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Lachlan can be a bit intense. People say he gets it from me. Well, it's not just that. He... Uh, Somebody painted murderer on our house. You think that was him? Uh, Mr Dingle, I swear to you, it wasn't. <laughs> All right. So why was our Belle so upset? Because I told her about it. I didn't realise you was keeping it a secret from her. Perhaps if you'd been more honest about it, Nothing. then... I'm just saying. Yeah, you're just saying. Yeah. Trying to wriggle your way out of it. And why would I have written murderer on a wall? It's pretty lame. If I'd have really wanted to hurt her, I would have written something much worse than Lucky that. Lucky for crying out. Just shut up and go upstairs, OK? All right, all right. If you decide to hold any events, uh... You stay away from our bell, dear. I'll be watching you. I promise you he didn't mean that. Right. See myself, huh? Oops. <laughs> Bit of tension. <laughs> Don't worry. He's had no end of run-ins with the dingles over the years. <laughs> When you get to know them, they're quite nice, really. Well, apart from Kane and, and Mary's Debbie, and stay away from charity and that dog. But your dad's lovely. All right. <laughs> Great. Is everything OK? Yeah, it was just a, a misunderstanding, I think. Well, I hope you don't mind. Uh, Auntie Val, Eric, uh, Finn, and, well, you know Victoria. Hi. Well, I'm just going to get to a meeting, so... Well, don't worry, we've got everything covered here. One, I'll give you two the tour. You're all right to sort out drinks, aren't you? Uh, yes, you uh, mentioned uh, 50 year old malt. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how did our Robert manage to lure your gorgeous daughter? You see, the thing is, it's been miscon. M mis mistook for being like a gay disease, whereas I am living proof it could happen to anyone. Miss. Construe. You know, and I've got a gay son and a gay employee. I love the gays. Yeah, Finn, I love you. Love you too, Val. He, he does, you know, he really does. <laughs> he really does. Yeah. But, you know, I know that people say that gays always put it about and that, but I know for a fact that he just sees me as, like, well, a mother figure or um, a gorgeous older sister. Yeah. What, what was I saying? Promiscuity. You were talking about the stereotype about gay people being promiscuous. Oh, no, I, I'm not saying it's true. No, but like with most stereotypes, there's probably some truth in it. What do you think, Lawrence? I think you've probably had enough to drink. Oh, sorry. Have we, you've not done that one yet. I thought you were doing life stories. You do know Lawrence. Lawrence was sent to prison for being gay. <laughs> <laughs> gay prison? <laughs> it is quite funny, isn't it? No, it really isn't. No, sorry. I thought you were, um... um how awful. We all like to think we're all enlightened, but it was only 40-odd years ago we were sending people to prison for falling in love with someone for the same sex. Horrible. 
No, what's funny is that after prison, Lawrence here just wrote it all off as a phase. And to prove I'm not gay he was, got married and had two kids. OK, that's enough. So I've never asked you. Did it come as a relief to be straight again, to be cured? Because I don't know about you, Finn, but I find that just a little bit offensive. I've never claimed anything of the sort. No. What you've done is live a life of absolute denial and allowed all that denial and repression to turn you into a cold, embittered, hate-filled old man. You think I'm not good enough for your daughter? You're the one who's not good enough for her. You're pathetic. <clears throat> So this is it, then, is it? This is our future here, you two sniping at each other, finding out ways of hurting each other. I'm sorry, Papa, I'm not just going to stand here and let him walk all over me anymore. No, you're just going to try and undermine me, tell them about my past. Oh, come on, I'm fed up of pussyfooting around that little family secret. Hey, what secret? <laughs> I've always been open about it. And yet you still try to embarrass him in front of everybody. And why not? That's what he's done to me. Tried to use my past against me. I mean, that's why you moved here, wasn't it? To try and scare me off by bringing me back to the last place I want to be. Oh, thanks very much. Right, come on, Hughes, we should go. No, no, you shouldn't. You should stay here and listen to what sort of person he is. Do you realise how paranoid you sound? Do you really think that I'd do all this to get rid of you? All this and more. Cos you're terrified. You're terrified she's going to choose me over you. Oh, just shut up! Will you just shut up the pair of you and just grow up? Hey, I don't think you can say that to your father. Yes. Yes, I can. Chrissy. So you decided to do some work after all, then? Or are you still catching up on your reading? I presume you patched things up with Chrissy. Put all the blame on me. <laughs> no, we've not patched things up just yet. She seems to be quite sensitive about your whole gay phase. I think I've hit a nerve. It's probably because she suspects the truth. Oh, yeah. What truth's that, then, hmm? The real reason you hate me? Jealousy? <laughs> you what? You can have a wife and kids, but you can't hide everything. I mean... All it took today was me spending a bit of time with a gay lad. A real one, I mean. Not a trembling old closet case like you. <laughs> you think I'm interested in you? Interested? Yeah, definitely. Well, I admit by now you've probably managed to convince yourself you hate me rather than love me. <laughs> Your ego never fails to astound me. <laughs> so there was no interest in me whatsoever? That's why you promoted me above all the others above all those other candidates who are better qualified. That's why he brought me into your circle. Much as it pains me to say it, you're good at your job. Now, maybe. But then, not so much. What I was good at was sucking up to you. Oh, yeah. I'll admit it. I led you on. Made you think there might be something there. It was easy, really. All that to do was laugh at your jokes, a bit of flirting, a bit of flattery. Oh, yeah. Blokes can do that nowadays. It's not like in your day when real men wouldn't be seen dead with people like you. People like me? And then you introduced me to Chrissy. The biggest mistake of my life. And I couldn't pretend anymore. And it killed you. It killed you to realise that you'd been played. You don't know what you're talking about. No. You're just too embarrassed to admit that I hustled you. That all I had to do was pretend to be a nasty little puffer like you, and you'd have given me anything. Get out. And you know what else? Everyone knew. The whole company, even Chrissy, probably had a suspicion that her dad was lusting after the new boy. The whole company knew. <laughs> and we laughed. You were a joke. You still are. I said get out! Make me. All right, then. Well, enjoy reading your book, because I'm going to enjoy making up with your daughter. <sighs> the model 
Those are dangerous. Morning. Morning. Right, well, I'll leave it to it. Oh, Dad, come on, there's no need for that. Robert apologised, right? Just like you asked. Well, let that be an end to all of this, then. Fine by me. My mind's on more important things right now, if I'm being honest. Your mum's memorial. I know. I've got to get ready. Seems like a good day for making peace all round, wouldn't you say? Interesting. What is? That you didn't put Chrissy right about my supposed apology. I wouldn't read too much into that. Though, of course, that's what you relish, isn't it? <laughs> Reading too much into things. Deny it all you like, but we both know the truth. You're deluded, Robert. How about you're the new estate manager, Robert? Not a chance. You say that now, but what better way to show your daughter, my fiance, that we're back on track? Think about it, but don't take too long. Gerald, uh, listen, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, I, I was going to call you at the surgery, but uh, I think it's happening again. I was still a little girl when you left us, so I don't have that many memories, not as many as I'd have liked. All I know is the older I get, the more precious those memories are. And you were my mum and I'll never forget you. Andy, you want to say something? Oh, I do not want to... Go on, I can wait. I don't really know what to say. Mum was... Her and Dad gave me a home. The only real home I ever had. I miss you both. Rob? Well... I guess I've been gone a long time, but... I'm so sorry. Dad, I'm gonna have to call... Slowly. Well, okay. No, 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 I'm coming right now. Just... Okay, we're on our way. Um, I think my dad's having a heart attack. I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to go. Sorry. Thank you so much. I honestly don't know what we do without you. No, that's okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, no heart attack? No, thank the Lord. But you did the right thing. You know, I've still got that tingling in my arm. Uh, sit back down. Doctor said. Oh, come on. This is a wind up. Can't you see it? What? He did this despite me. Look, I know you're upset about your mother's memorial, but come on. <laughs> Don't you think the timing's just a little suspect here? I mean, first it's our wedding, now this. What is the matter with you? In fact, don't answer that. Just get out. Go on, before I really lose my temper. Chrissy. I'm sorry your day got ruined. Really, I am. But your mother is 14 years gone, and luckily for me, my father is still here. And more's the pity. Who made this? What do you think you're doing? Victoria made it. It was for after the memorial. Wow, that's delicious. Mm. I'm glad I stuck around long enough to enjoy it. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Much better, thanks. Shouldn't you be in bed? Mum's been dead worried about you. More than can be said of Robert. We had them arguing this morning. Mm. Talk of the devil. Just making some tea. Fancy a cup? No, thanks. I made myself some coffee. Oh, I'm not allowed coffee. Doc says it's bad for me. You don't need to go online about it. Both know that you're putting it on. I don't know what you mean. It's not my fault the old ticker gets weaker at my age. And Mum said you were wrong about it. What's all this? Nothing. You want to hurry up or you'll be late for school. Um, you never gave me the money for that game I wanted. <laughs> we had a little wager on the footy. Don't whinge. Obviously, I lost. That should cover it. Cheers. See you later. 
was going to bring you breakfast in bed. Oh, that's very kind, but I've got a lot of work to do. Doctor says you should be taking it easy. Don't worry. I'll be sat down all day interviewing for the estate manager's job. I don't know why you don't just save yourself the trouble and give it to Robert. Hmm. Tempting. But I wouldn't want people to think that I'd only given it to you because you're dating my daughter. Engaged? Yeah, it might undermine your authority. Better people see that you've won it in open competition. He's determined to wind me up. He's always been proud of having done things the hard way. He just expects the same of you, that's all. <laughs> Why can't you see that he's, he's playing me all the time? He's an old man with a weak heart. Wish you'd stop accusing him of things. I don't want you putting him under any more stress. And just because I'm bigging you up to my dad doesn't mean that we're OK. Understand? Loud and clear. Um, I've also had some great ideas for international events we could run for. Well, don't, don't you think it would be better to get on top of the day-to-day -day running of the place before oh, no, 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 you get too No, 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 I won't be bothering ambitious. with any of that. The new PA will deal with all the nuts and bolts. See, I see this promotion as just the beginning for me. I'm not going to rest until everyone knows the name of Home Farm Estate. Well, you've certainly given me a lot to think about. Now, we've got to interview some more people tomorrow, so I'll let you know when I've made my decision. <laughs> bankrupt the place inside the first three months. I'll admit, she's a bit raw. But then, I've trained up worse. You wouldn't need to do any training with Robert. Unfortunately, he's declined my offer of an interview. And since the process needs to be deemed fair, he's rather ruled himself out. Like I said, don't want other candidates thinking that he has an unfair advantage. I've been giving it some thought, and I want to show you how serious I am about my future, so... I hope you'll accept my resignation from my position as sales manager. Is this really necessary? When I want something, second best won't do. Well, if you're absolutely sure. Certain. So, if you're ready, I'd like to take you up on the offer of an interview now. I've been doing some notes on my five-year plan for the business. I suggest we concentrate on the core business first. The Macy's, let things slide a bit. So we consolidate and then start looking for new income streams as and when we're ready. I knew you two would sort this out. Things are going far too well for us to mess them up over a silly misunderstanding. Right. My office. Should I be congratulating you? We don't know anything yet, but whatever happens, there'll always be a job for you up there. Fantastic. Cheers. Still with a chance, then? Well, you never know. It could be good news. Oh, a very public humiliation. Your Auntie Val has given me a get well soon card. Did you know that she was a goodwill ambassador? She's asked me to be patron of her um, foundation. I wonder how much that's going to cost me. Dad, when you're quite done being Princess Anne, can you just tell us about the job? Who got the job? Ah, yes. Well, I was torn. It's, um... It, it isn't you. I'm sorry. It's a shame that you uh, resigned from the sales manager job. Uh, I don't know if you'd like to reconsider that position. Uh, no, you can stuff it. Well, that's a pity, because I admire a man who isn't afraid of telling his boss how he really feels. I mean, estate manager's job, it's a bit beneath you, isn't it? Huh? Boy, with your, uh, your talents. After all, you're not some needy little PA flashing her tail at the boss, are you? I, uh... I know I was all over the place for that interview, but if you're re-advertising the job, I'd really love another crack at it. On the contrary. You know the place and people around here know you. I'd be delighted if you'd accept. Uh, the job's mine. <laughs> oh, great. You are? I told you. I knew you'd get it. Well, obviously, we'll need to analyse the package, but... I, I, sorry, yeah, yeah I, I do accept. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well done, Nico. Oh. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> You expect me to sit here and take this? Oh, come on, even you can't defend it. It's just like him not to answer his phone when we're desperate to know he's OK. Well, it might be in his pocket in the pub. Shh! Hang on, what was that? Hang on. Dad! Dad! Oh, my God! Dad! Dad, are you OK? Oh, 
stable. We've run a number of tests, including a blood test called troponin, which has confirmed that Mr. White has had a heart attack. So soon? Well, how many more can he take? Well, I don't know what the record is, but your father seems very robust, so I don't think there's cause for great alarm, considering this is his first. But it isn't. You need to speak to his uh, private doctor. I put his number in here somewhere. Mr. White, you told the staff it was. Mr. White, it's essential we have as much information as possible so we can treat you effectively. How many heart attacks have you had in total? This is my first. Excuse me. I love you and I'm glad you're okay, but I, I don't want to be in your company for a while. We could be talking months or years and um, you might want to consider downsizing, Dad. That's a really big house for one. your boots. Oh, gloat. Have fun. She'll come around. Yeah. She told me. In a few years. You've upset her. I'll talk to her. Why? The same reason I do anything. To make her happy. So I can get all the money, or whatever it is you think that I want. She talked to me the whole way in the ambulance. Okay. Told me what you did. Fought them off. Chased them out. Might not have reached me in time if you hadn't. You'd have been fine. It being your first one and all. Took a beating into the bargain, I'm told. Hardly. They had a weapon. I got a couple in. They terrified Chrissy. And you dealt with them. Yeah. Well, they, they threatened her, didn't they? <coughs> Thank you. Pleasure. Sort of. <laughs> Go on. Go home and have a drink. I don't get it. Why is he still here? Drinking on his own, it's weird. How did he just leave it? Uh, two more beers, please. Go having one. You know he's just using you to deal with this guilt, right? Yeah, well, I can see why you think that, Robert. But the thing is, not everyone's like you, luckily. Oh, uh, look who I've just uh, bumped into. Good to see you, Andy. What's this, then? It works out here? What? Oh, I see, uh, well, something like that. We need to talk business. Yeah, of course we do. Nothing. The owner swears he's never even heard of him, says he'll speak to the staff, but 
I don't know. What about you? How'd you get on? Robert? Uh, oh, a uh, couple said they'd seen me late afternoons, actually. All oh, right, well, let's wait. What? That's him. That's him! Are you sure? That's a face I'm not likely to forget. Come on! Robert! You touched me again, and I'm calling the police. We're not here to hurt you. What do you want? What do I want? I want to know why. Why would you do this? All I did was try to help you. Money. It's got to be about money. If it is, you can forget it. <laughs> well, you're in a little bit of trouble, then, aren't you? Come on. You're going to follow me all the way to the police station? I just want to talk. Whoa. I'm sorry, sir. Have you no conscience? This man's tried to help you. OK. But would you mind not harassing me, because you're just getting yourself into more trouble? No one means to harass you. Now, let's just get this over with. How much is it going to take to make this go away? Robert. Now, go on, how much? All right. Five grand. Five? I haven't agreed to this. Here, here's my card. You've got an hour, all right? If I don't hear from you by seven o'clock, then don't bother. Come on. Come on, I... Oh, yeah, let me get that. Don't be a creep, Robert. I'm not incapable. <laughs> I'm only trying to help. No, you can help by running this place properly while I'm away. So, uh, I mean, what, what's the crack with you and Bernice, anyway? Remind me why that's any business of yours. Well, she's my stepsister. Feels a bit, I don't know, weird if you two have seen each other. I've got a meeting, so I won't be back before the flight. So I'm trusting you to respect my house while I'm away. Oh, so I should scrap any plans for a wild party, then? <laughs> I think a party's being a bit optimistic, Robert, considering you don't have anyone to invite. Oh, and there are some microwave meals for one in the freezer. You'll be needing those, seeing you're so unwelcome in the village. Bye! Yeah, there was no sign. Well, let's just give it an hour or so first, yeah? You might calm down and then come home. OK, I'll talk to you in a bit. Hello, Robert. I've just had a very interesting chat with my daughter. What did I... A raid on your own home, on the woman you were about to marry. Chrissy was never supposed to be there. Yeah, but she was there. What if she'd had the heart attack? Oh, come on, she's old, but she's not that old. How could I not see what was staring me in the face from the start? Well, you were probably too busy looking elsewhere. Chrissy lived in fear for months. I could have died. Well, it's not my fault you're so gullible. Well, my eyes are open now. Congratulations. It's only taken you the best part of a year. I made a decision. We're selling up. I look forward to the check. You won't get a penny. I'll see you in court then. <laughs> if you can find us. You really want to go up against me? You couldn't even handle some rent boy drying it on. Yeah, that was me. I paid him. Seeing you panic about being old and queer and back in prison was priceless. You really are a vile excuse for a human being. Well, you try to outrun me and that'll only be the start. I can do much, much worse. So can I. Game on. It's not a game to me. I'll get your hooks out of my family. And I don't care what it takes. Well, you might want to pick up the pace with that dodgy heart. And do watch those pills. You know how Lachlan gets when he's upset. Well, I have somewhere to be. Thanks for stopping by. You'll be hearing from my solicitor. Why don't we go somewhere else? Oh, he'd love that. Enjoying yourselves? It was having a quiet drink. While my daughter tries to cope with what you've done to her. It was a mistake. 
hers as much as mine. Let go of him! Let go of him! Hey, why don't you take your own advice? And would do, if you had any self-respect. Leave him or go somewhere else. Oi, Rocky Balboa. And what about the way you wrecked Chrissy's life? Was that a mistake, too? Or are you just determined to drag my family down? You know, not everything's about you. That's so why you just back off. Oh, go on, then. You think your heart can take it? Lawrence, please. Any blood gets spilled on my furniture and you're both scrubbing it clean, yeah? Yeah, uh, that... that was Vic. Do you think Rebecca's losing the baby? How the hell did you get in? The office door was open. Bex asked me to drop these off. Mm. Done. Go. Are you okay? She said something about Ronnie. Well, she shouldn't have. Because it's none of your business. You can have one of those. Nope. Well, it's a good job I found this then. <laughs> Aaron's seen someone. Alex. Treated living hospital. He's all caring, handsome, sickeningly perfect. Well, good for Aaron. He deserves perfect. Better than me. It's the kind of person, it's the kind of life he should have, it's just... Kills you to see him get it. This actually feels worse than the breakup. Knowing that he's with someone else, that he, he stayed over. I must really like him. Hmm. Ronnie and Serge are moving in together. You've got that development to look forward to. Well, there's no chance he'll come back. Mm -hmm. I ruined our second chance. I think I can safely say he won't give me another. Do you ever wish you'd chosen him? Back then. Wasn't a choice that was open to me. Not really. I was too damaged. <laughs> you, on the other hand, had the world at your feet and you chose to lie. I didn't have it easy. <laughs> Took the big gay wedding in your stride. I'm bisexual, not gay. Mm. And I wish I'd been able to tell Chrissy. But I had to come out to myself first, and <laughs> that took a bullet to the chest in the best part of 15 years. <laughs> Both got there in the end, though, didn't we? Mm. And we've made such a success of it. Well, isn't it the taking part that counts? Game over for me now. Never say never. Never. Ronnie's better off with them. 
Everyone is. Careful, you hurt yourself. Why did I do? <laughs> You've had too many to stand. Come on, get up. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, did I ever, did I ever tell you about Serge? Serge? Was he the roofer or was he one of the dogs? The roofer. How could I ever compete? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're drunk, sir. <laughs> you are. I'm, <laughs> I'm as sober as a judge with a drink problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are we going? You said you wanted to take a nap. <laughs> you had a, a brain thing. Yeah, I did. And I'll tell you what I need. A doctor. You know any perfect, handsome ones? <laughs> That's funny. I see what you did there. You won't be laughing when I'm done with you. What do we do? I don't know. Nothing, I hope. This doesn't look like nothing. I, uh, I, I, I had an awful lot to drink. Mr. White, look, I, I'm sorry, I know you wanted us out, but I really needed my phone, and then uh, Lockwood reminded me that we didn't tell you about this shoot that we No, Finn, no, oh, don't. Yeah. don't. Shots, it's best to ignore it. Um, Robert, I have to go. Running away isn't going to help anyone. Tell me you're not going to say anything. Please. Every time I see Rebecca and Lachlan, I, I, I panic. I can't stand this, Robert. I know. And I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I don't know exactly what issues you're dealing with from the past, but 
I didn't think about how difficult all this must be for you. Okay. I honestly care about Rebecca, and I care about you, and I've no intention of ruining everything if I can help it. You can. This doesn't have to go any further. I'm sorry, Lawrence. Hey, uh... all I want is to do right by my family, and look how things are turning out. Poor Rebecca. I must be dreadful to be around, and home farm is in a mess. How do I fix this, Robert? Oh, Rebecca, you made it. Nice to see you again. Kath, I'm sorry, I was under the impression we'd cancelled. Well, we had, but then we rescheduled. We were hoping you'd be here in time to show around the grounds. OK. My daughter is impatient to stamp her vision on the business, and I, for one, can't wait to see it happen. Well, I'm ready for the tour. <laughs> well, those shoes won't do, <laughs> but I'm sure Rebecca can find you some Wellingtons to fit. You know, Lawrence, this is a good thing you've done for Rebecca and for the business as well. Well, thank you for making me see sense. You never know. Maybe it'll all work out well in the end. Dare to hope. Chrissy, Chrissy, he tried to run you down. Until I know that Tim has gone for good, I want you to stay right where you are. Yes, I, I love you too. I'll, I'll call you. Hmm? What happened? Uh. Whose blood is that? She won't back down. Oh, God. What? What did you do? We fought and I killed him. I mean, I didn't mean to kill him. How did it happen? Well, I was warning him off like we discussed. And okay, yeah, maybe I got a bit heavy with him, but that was the whole point, wasn't it? He wasn't having any of it. He said he wanted more money. He started threatening me and all sorts. He... It was getting out of hand, so I knew I needed to take control, and then there was this knife, it was just there, so I, I picked it up, and... I mean, I only meant to threaten him with it, but then he started shouting at me, and he came at me, and it was, it was an accident. You better believe me, Mike. And, 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 and you're sure that he's... Yeah. Oh, oh my God. I did this for you, remember? Lawrence, I did this for you. I, I, I was just trying to help you. Yeah, but stabbing him, how on earth did it come to that? I don't know. I, I mean, one minute we're arguing and the next minute it's... it's I, I don't know how it happened. Yeah, I, I know. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I, it's just I'm having difficulty getting my head around all this. I, I swear to you it was an accident. I believe you. I doubt the police will. I mean, especially if I have to tell them why I went round there. What? That run-in I had with him in the village. What about it? Well, I attacked him. I threatened him in front of Dan and Kerry. What if the police find out about that? You told Dan and Kerry that it was a family squabble, so they'd know that he wasn't a stranger. Well, it's not going to look good, is it? Oh. Well, what, what have you done with the body? I got rid of it. Where? Does it matter? Of course it matters! I'm up to my neck in this. I need to know that he's somewhere where he can't be found. No, Lawrence, it's dealt with. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Answer it. Go on. Lawrence White? Yes? Mind if we come in? What if they start asking questions in the village, hmm? What then? We've been seen with him. But what if they do? Nobody's going to remember him. I mean, all they have is a name. <laughs> Come on. I mean, who's going to miss him? Who's going to be hassling the police to find him? Nobody. It'll be filed as a missing person and that'll be it. Case closed. 
I've managed to wipe out Chrissy's entire biological family. Is that such a bad thing? Well, it will be if she ever finds out. She disowned me when she found out about John. Look, now, when you disposed of the body, did you notice any CCTV cameras about? I'm not stupid, Lawrence. I just need to check. You can never be too careful. Will you just stop panicking? Yeah, but when you say you got rid of the body... I told you, OK? The less you know, the better. I'm, I'm trying to protect you here. <laughs> you saw how he just panicked in front of the police. You don't trust me? Of course I trust you. Lawrence, we're in this together, OK? <sighs> Everything's dealt with. Let's just leave it at that. Dad, we, we need to talk. Um, the day that you say Tim was murdered, did you actually see the body? No, because I wasn't there. So how do you know he's dead? Because Robert told me. And where's, it, where's the body now? No idea. And why is that? Because Robert dealt with it. See, there's a bit of a theme going on here, don't you think? With Robert? Oh, come on. He was covered in blood, for God's sake. Why would he lie about something like that? Because he's Robert. Everything is a game to him, and now you've, you've been in his pocket ever since. Okay, the day we were signing the Rug Tree Bonds contract, we were having our doubts, do you remember? And then Tim tries to mow me down, Robert suddenly saves me, and we're all signing on the dotted line. Uh, uh, look, I'm sorry to barge in. Tell them about Tim. Tell them you murdered him. It was all a stunt. To get you inside. And Tim trying to run me over? All staged. I I'm sorry. Get out of my house. But what about Seb? Out! I don't want you here! You two stay here, I'll deal with this! Nobody takes me for a fool. Nobody. You hear me? Right, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> was there anything between us? Anything at all? Or was it all lies? I lied about everything. <gasps> we never slept together, Lawrence. Not ever. Not, not even once. <laughs> We don't know where she is. You know, I don't believe that. But the point is, is I'm not even asking. And what are you doing then? I bought these for Seb. Don't punish him for what I've done. Well, you should have thought that before. Look, can you just take them, please? So when you do see him, whenever that is, he'll at least know that I'm thinking of him. <laughs> He's a baby. All he knows is when it's feeding time. You mean nothing to him. Oh, Myra. A word, please. Yeah, I'm busy. Ah, oh, your beloved Aaron. Exactly. Going to put things right? Uh, yeah, actually, so... Well, even if you do, how long before you treat him like you treated me? And how did I treat you? Not well, Robert. Perhaps I should warn him. Oh, what, that I drugged you brandy? Well, he tried to kill me, Aaron. And he'll kill you, too. Two? You're alive, aren't you? And I was just trying to get your business. Just? Do you see what a monster he is, Aaron? Is this the man you really want to be with? Well, guess what? Aaron already knows about the drugging, and he isn't bothered. Yeah. So, he forgave me that, and he'll forgive me the other stuff, too. Sleeping with my daughter. Narrow it down. Conceiving a child while he was in prison. We got past that. Yeah. And then you didn't. We're meant to be together. Oh! You made me feel that way about us. Well, that's your problem. Yeah, brought on by your lies, because that's what you do, Robert, isn't it? You lied, but you know what? I accept that. <laughs> I don't care if you do or not. Aaron never will. We 
all have our little imperfections. You need to be getting out of my way now. They're part of what makes us who we are. They're part of what makes you so special. And they're why you and Aaron can never work. Move! I'm not losing you. I love this. Uh, may I come in? Oh, yeah. You look better than I expected. You'll have to hit me harder next time. I, uh... I passed the policeman on his way out. Uh, you wanted a statement? I gave my statement last night. Look, I know there's been a, a lot of bad feeling. Mine says that you didn't do anything wrong. I was drunk. Stepped out in front of you, you have no chance of avoiding me. I was expecting... Well, I, I don't know what. No, honesty. How are you? How am I? A drunken idiot jumped out in front of you. Kind of in a picnic. I'm fine, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I haven't even asked you how you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm OK. I could be better. I don't doubt it. A favour from you would help. I did the tunnel thing. You know, when, when everything goes white. What exactly was it that you want? So I make you take stock. I want to see my son, Lawrence. I want to be a proper part of his life. I see. What do you see? <laughs> well, you told the police the truth, so you scratched my back. Now you want me to scratch yours. It's a dad seeing his little boy. It's hardly scratching backs. It's not for me to decide what role, if any, you play in You're Sebastian. Not shy at handing out advice, though. What I would say is that you have hurt my family very badly. You mean I've hurt you? You have hurt my family very badly. And the only advice I would give is that a boy doesn't deserve a father like that. That's what I'd, I'd have said the same thing too. I did say it to my own dad. The day Seb was born, I went to his grave and I told him I was off, that I needed to be a better person. And then I stayed in the village and I stayed the same. But Lawrence... Robert, I, I actually don't doubt that you have good intentions. What I do doubt very much is your ability to see them through. You dropped this last night. I assumed you'd want it. Did you look inside? Well, they were scattered all over the road. <laughs> I'm afraid this little chap didn't fare very well. It's for Seb. They all are. Let, let me give them to him. OK, OK, you give them to him. We went through all this only yesterday. Well, let's go through it again, please. He's got lots of presents. Not from me, not from his dad. He won't know who they're from. Yeah, I will. Please. You just completely lost it. Oh, come on, Bex. Don't Bex me. We should call the police. Yeah, damn right we should. He did this himself. I, I didn't touch him. Oh, come on, Lucky, I feel sick being in the same room as him. Please! You know, when I saw you earlier with Seb, I actually thought that maybe you changed. I have. Oh, you might have tried. It's just not possible, is it? Just go, Robert, and don't come back. Oh,